Hey everyone, welcome to Green Lane Off-Road. I'm Donovan, and today we're going to be installing our full roof rack on a 5th gen Toyota 4Runner. We'll start by removing the factory roof rack. Uh, this is accomplished by taking off the front and rear plastic covers, uh, which will reveal two 12mm head bolts at the front and rear. Next we're going to uh, run a bead of silicone on the bottom side of our gutter blocks. The top side has the counter sink holes and the bottom side has the counter bore holes. So we'll just run a little bead just around these counter bore holes. Go ahead. Now we'll install the four gutter blocks where the stock rack bolted to using our supplied stainless steel hardware. Next we're going to remove this rubber weather stripping here. We'll be trimming this uh, at the front to fit around the rack once it's installed. Next we're going to install the side rails to the gutter block using six of the 3-8 stainless steel button head Allen bolts per side. It's easiest to install one in the front and one in the rear, just to hold the side rail in place. Next we're going to install all of our crossbars loosely. And we'll be using the three quarter inch long black stainless button head bolts. And of course we put some uh, never seize on them as well. I'll, I'll bring you some. Good, thank you. On the front crossbar we're going to be installing four of the supplied T-nuts. This will be to attach the air dam. We have to do this before we install the crossbar to the side rails. The one single slot crossbar is designed to fit at the very rear of the rack. Next we're going to install our front foot and clamp assembly. The straight uh, quarter inch thick piece is the foot and the eighth inch uh, formed piece is the clamp. We're going to install the foot on the, right on the inside of the rack and we'll use the inch and a quarter long stainless 5 sixteenths bolt to go through. And we'll be installing the clamp next, making sure that the whole assembly is right down at the bottom of 
the gutter. This is how the correctly installed foot and clamp should look. Next we'll put a washer and nylock nut on the back side. And once the whole assembly is tightened down, the clamp plate will lock the whole assembly into the gutter. Next we're going to be reinstalling our gutter strip here. We just have to mark and trim around the front foot and I like to use a little bit of silicone on the very front of it to uh, make sure that it sticks um, to the vehicle well. Mark the location of the area that we want to cut out, and we can cut it with tin, tin snips or an angle grinder. There is a small piece of metal in the middle, so you won't be able to do it with scissors. Next we're going to install the air dam. So if you place it on top, it's easiest to align the four T-nuts with the holes in the air dam before we start installing it. You prepare the 5 8 with washers okay. and goop. Washers and goop. Then you can pass me one of and you're ready with uh, one of those Allen keys on the corner. So using the 5 8 long uh, bolts supplied, we're going to loosely bolt the air dam to the crossbar. And it's very important to use the 5 8 bolts and not the slightly longer 3 quarters from the side uh, because the longer ones will bottom out in the channel before the air dam is tight. With the uh, four or five eighths long bolts loosely installed on the top of the air dam, we can now use the remaining four inch and a quarter long bolts, washers, and nuts uh, to fasten the front side of the air dam. We can now go ahead and tighten down the rest of the black stainless hardware, followed by the 12 silver stainless bolts holding the rack to the roof, and the installation is complete.
if you're going to install some of our additional stainless steel tie down brackets, uh, you can do so by replacing the side bolts with the longer supplied bolts. Uh, additionally, you can install extra T nuts into the top of the crossbar and bolt them to the top. Now that all the hardware is tightened, uh, the install of our full roof rack is complete.